Another bad thing that people can do with, with graphs is they can play around with the sizes of the bins. That, uh, so if you have a bar graph and you've got you know, different bins for different categories, you can play around with those sizes to make the bar graph say more or less whatever you would like it to. Here's, a, here's another example this is, uh, that's, that's you know, fairly notorious. This one from the Wall Street Journal. This, came, this is from an editorial that came out shortly before Obama ran for re-election. And the point of the editorial is that Obama is coming not for your guns, but rather for your tax dollars. And uh, so they say the rich and short aren't nearly rich enough to finance Mr. Obama's entitlement state ambitions even before his health care plan kicks in. So who else is there to tax? The nearby chart shows the distribution and the big hump in the center. This is what they call the middle class, which I guess if you're a Wall Street Journal reader, 100 to 200K is middle class. Um, that's where the money is. So they say, you know, Democrats are inevitably headed there to the middle class for the same reason that Willie Sutton robbed banks. You guys know why Willie Sutton robbed banks? Yeah, so Willie Sutton, famous bank robber, and he was asked, like, why do you rob banks? He says, well, that's where the money is. And so that's why, according to this article, yes, the Democrats were coming after the middle class. Actually, that, was, that line was made up by a news reporter. The line was made up by a news reporter. I have had bullshit called upon me. It's a great line, though, and it ought to be true. Um, I'm going to be fact-checking that tonight, but I, will, I, I, I trust you. Okay. What a shame. What a shame. Okay. Going back to our graph and forgetting about Willie Sutton, um, the problem with this graph is that the bins differ widely in size, right? When we start out, we've got these bins of like, you know, $4,000 interval, $5,000 intervals, $5,000 intervals all through here, $10,000 intervals, $25,000 interval, um, at $25,000 interval. And then this big, this big bar, that middle class where all the money was, all the money is there because we went from a $25,000 interval to a $100,000 interval. That's why all the money is there. That bin is really, really wide. So we have that fourfold increase. And then as we go to the next one, we want this bar to still be big if we want to claim there's money there. So, uh, so then we go to a $300,000 wide bin. So we do another threefold increase. So going from this, this bin here is, uh, is 12 times as wide as that bin there, right? The bars are about the same height, but you have to extend over 12 times the range to get that height over here. That's very, very misleading. And an economist uh, you know, looked at this and showed, well, hey, if you're allowed to set the bins the way you like, I can use exactly this data to tell you any story I want to. And so he put together from these original data, he put together these graphs. So suppose you want to say, well, let's tax the poor. Now you set up a bin uh, from zero to 100,000. It's a little funny definition of poor, but you can still <laughs> set up a bin like that. Um, and, uh, and that's where all the money is. You know, that's where you better be taxing. Tax the middle class. Set up a bin from 25,000 to 100,000. And now that's where all the money is. Um, tax the wealthy. Set up a bin from 200,000 on up. That's where all the money is. The way that you bin the data totally determine, in this case, the story that you're telling. In the Wall Street Journal's defense, this binning is the binning that the, um, that the tax office reports. That said, the Wall Street Journal should realize that this generates a very misleading graph and that the misleading graph corresponds to the story that they're trying to sell, right? And they should find ways to deal with that instead of simply going with these bins that they're given that conveniently do what they want them to. I've got two questions. One. So in your statement of it's a misleading graph, isn't any graph full display, wouldn't it be categorized as misleading? Um, I, I would consider that bins of equal size would be not would be much less likely to be misleading. That's what I would want to see in this case. Um, there is a question, since the income range gets very, very long out on the far side, what to do there. I would probably just put everything above some amount out the side, and then I'd want to see twenty or $25,000 bins. I'd consider that a neutral starting point. Um, but that's a great question, because, because I mean, the other aspect of this with these graphs is if your story is depending on subtle choices in the way you're graphing the data, then your story doesn't really have a very strong grounding. And so I would like to see data presented in ways such that the story remains the same, even if you slightly perturb the way you're graphing it. There are things other than bend bar graphs that would do that. A cumulative plot, for example, of the income, of the taxation distribution would do that. Mm -hmm.